Hey guys, this is Mike the Scrapper. A lot of you guys are asking questions about first-time scrappers. You're a first-time scrapper, you have no clue what you're doing, and you need some help. Besides all my videos that I've showed you, I made this video. It's a little bit to show you what to look for when you're starting out in scrap. Let's take a look at this. First thing you're going to want to get is a magnet. This one I got from a microwave. This is going to tell you whether you have ferrous or non-ferrous metal. Also, screwdrivers, a big plus, especially something like this. This I got from Home Depot for about $15, $20. Comes with almost everything I'm going to need to scrap and I got it really cheap. This is a precision screwdriver set. This is to get those very small screws like what's in a hard drive. Also, get yourself some pliers. Here you can see some pliers, some wire cutters, and a bunch of other tools that you're definitely gonna need. And as you get a little bigger, you're gonna definitely wanna upgrade your tools and get a little bit more, such as wrenches, hammers, all different types of tools and you'll see what you need once you're going through it. This is a tamper-proof bit set that you're going to need for microwaves. This here is an Allen wrench set. Then when you start making some money you can get yourself a cordless drill to get those screws out faster and you want to get yourself a sawzall that way you can cut through metal like butter. Then later on, you can get yourself this uh, wire stripper, a propane tank valve remover, and most definitely, you want to scale. You want to see how much copper you have, how much copper can I get out of a TV. And then when you're done, you got yourself a little toolbox, you can put all your stuff in. Now when you're scrapping, first thing you're going to want to do is get at least some gloves, a mask, and some goggles. Now you don't have to go out there and look crazy. Just play it safe. So now you're out there and you're looking for scrap. Scrap is everywhere. Just when you're going to get it, just organize your truck. That way you have enough room for everything you're going to put in there and maybe get a trailer. And once you get it home, try organizing all your stuff. That way it doesn't look like a junkyard and you know what you're going to have, you know how to attack it, and you know what you want to do first. Being organized is definitely something big you want to do when you're scrapping. This here I built for my bins under my staircase and it helps me separate my scraps so I know where my copper, my aluminum and all my other metals are. This I also built a second one because of all the metals I'm getting there's just so many different types that I had to build this to make, make some more room. And also label your bins of what you have. Copper, cast aluminum, motherboards, aluminum cans, etc. And always have a clean place to work on. That way you can start a new project fresh. Now you're starting to take your stuff apart. Now you're starting to get 
an idea of where you can make some money. When you're taking apart computers, at least try to wear a mask. Some of these computers have dust, which carry allergens or some other things you don't want in your lungs. Now we are ready to go to the scrapyard. Now you have your trailer, your truck, anything you have available to take to the scrapyard. Please separate everything you have just like I showed you when you organize. Look at my bins, how I have my low grade, my wiring, I have some aluminum, some uh, copper, and all other types of items. I have them all separated. That way when I get to the scrapyard, I can just pull them out, put them on a scale, and just keep going, get paid, and get out. Once at the scrapyard, they'll tell you which direction to go. Usually some scrapyards have their metal separated by light, heavy, etc. And they'll tell you where to go and then they'll weigh you in and out that way you can get paid and keep going and make some more money. So now you just turn someone else's garbage into cash. So next time you're at the scrapyard, ask for a tour. They have a lot of things there you may not know you can make money on. And there may be some things that you're overlooking. All right, guys, I hope that video did help a little bit. If you have any questions or comments, please put it at the bottom there. Till then, this is Mike the Scrapper. Please comment, like, subscribe. Till then, peace.